Most of my work is done on a wood panel, MDF board to be exact. But every now and then I make an oil sketch on paper, sometimes in preparation of a large work, sometimes to give a potential buyer an idea of what his commission could look like. These kind of sketches take two sessions of give or take two hours. I tape my paper to a piece of hardboard. Two wooden frames on the back of the board give the surface I paint on some stability. One larger frame probably would have made more sense, but I happen to have these small ones lying around. I use a special method to tape the paper to the board that I learned from my framer. By the way, if you're allergic to the word tape, you better turn down the audio. Here it goes. The trick is to apply the tape to the back of your paper, then turn it around and tape the tape to the board instead of to the paper itself. This way you don't have annoying pieces of tape on the front side of your paper and you can use the entire surface. Oil pads come in all sorts and sizes. I use Canson pads of 10 sheets, 290 grams paper. My favorite size is A3 or 42 over 29.7 centimeters. Some oil paper brands have a fake canvas texture, but this one is smooth. Gives me the freedom to decide whether I want a texture or not. I thin my paint down with liquid light gel. It's a fast drying medium. More information on my painting reflections tutorial. I tape the horizon with household masking tape to get a night nice straight horizon. One advice, don't press it too hard or you'll damage the top layer of your paper when you remove the tape. You want it to go like this. And not like this. Okay, up till now this has been pretty slow for a quick guide. Here comes the quick part. Big jump here, but after all, it's a quick guide. I use a ruler and a pencil to draw the beach ball. Some fellow painters don't feel comfortable with using a graphite pencil on or under an oil paint surface. The graphite and the paint supposedly interact, but hey, this is a sketch, this is not for eternity. The seaweed on the pier has a beautiful green color. It just needs a few light accents. A few dots of flesh color and I'm done.
Want to find out more? Please go to paintingskies.com slash video.